Welcome back to the Fortune Hike Snow Polo World Cup 2015. I think this guy thinks there's a microphone on the camera. Para Indy. Oh, Para there we go, we don't have sound. Sounds Argentina? I think so. Well, it's almost like a, a scoreless chucker in uh, the second chucker that we had, other than the early goal, very early goal score by the Canadians, uh, makes it uh, only down, but make them only down by one goal after the two chuckers. Now scores 3 2, but both teams are playing tremendous defense so far in the last six minutes that we had in the second chucker. So, once again, for both teams, only had the one win, one loss record. For any teams who got two wins there will definitely be advancing into the quarterfinals. So very crucial six minutes left for both teams. Both teams actually play pretty well in, in um, setting up their offense, but the other team play magnificent defense. Okay, here we go. We're underway now with the third and final chucker. Only one goal difference on the board. Both teams looking to bring a win out of this. Abiati now. Crotto putting pressure on him. Called off by Stenzel. Stenzel playing. Echevez. Stenzel still in control. Stenzel giving a good push on to Echevez. Echevez getting the inside back. Now Brandon Phillips pushing. Uh, Greguli off the ball, loving this side back there to put it in front of uh, Abiati. Nice big hit from just uh, from Crotto. Argentina on the way to goal, and they get it. That's a goal for Argentina. They've now deepened the lead by another goal. You can see that cracking big shot there from uh, from Jacinto Crotto. Pops it up, Greguli there. No, Echevez, Echevez just very nicely and in control, tapping the ball through the goal. Canada to hit in. Gone out of place, they're set up with the line up. Stenzel, Abiati, a trio of uh, scrimmage here. Abiati emerging victorious for that one. Oh, hooked out there by Echevez. But Brandon Phillips right behind it, runs over the top of the ball, backed by Greguli. Stenzel just there to pick it up. Look for the, no, he doesn't go for the back. He turns the ball very nicely, and the whistle's gone. Somewhat incredulous there at the uh, the foul being called. Ben Turner said, "No, something's gone, gone amiss." So, penalty shot awarded here to Argentina. Crotto to take. Now, as you can see, this man knows how to hit a ball, so uh, th there's every opportunity that this could, uh, if he decides to go for a full hit, he could uh, he could quite easily sink this through the two goalposts. And he's having a he's having a good run up at this one, so it looks like he may just do just that. There's the winder. Oh no! Big shot. Very nice big shot. Turns off to the right though, so it's going to go over the boards. play now for Canada. Phillips approaching the boards. He's trying to get, uh, he's trying to push Greguli onto his near side there so he can't get hooked out. There's another foul's been blown. Fortunately, the camera angle and the commentary box here didn't, didn't give us uh, a view of that, so I'm not too sure exactly what's happened.
Oh, he's come across. He's tried to hook him from behind. So he's, it's a foul hook. Did a cheeky one there from the Argentines. So they're going to be awarded a 20-yard uh, a penalty here, which is the most severe of the penalties, bar being sent off. So opportunity for Canada to bring it up to 4-3. Brandon Phillips to take. Just, just uh, three minutes and change left in the uh, in the last sugar here. So, so Brandon's going to want to make sure that he gets this on target. Goes to the tap, and it's good by the look of it. Oh no! Oh. It's hit the post. That's unfortunate. That, that's uh, that's not good for Canada. So he's just tapped it. It's gone right, and it's bounced straight off the post. And our angle. Crotto in possession now. Decides to go right. It comes under the stirrup of Stenzel. Stenzel pushing hard against uh, Crotto. Nicely done there, but Crotto answering with a very own shoulder himself. Get there up. Still fired for battle here between Stenzel and Crotter along the boards. Stenzel will have to be careful not to sandwich him against the boards, otherwise they'll get another foul awarded against them. Abiati pushes forward. Etchevez with the near side back. Phillips there. Now Abiati. Abiati tapping it along the boards here. Crotto changes direction of play. Now Phillips with the backhand of his own. Opens it up nicely for Abiati. Abiati straight on target with his sit. Pushes it, changes it with a, with a very own open backhand. Stenzel pushing hard against Crotto. very much a game of backhands here. It's nice to see this is how it should be played. So Abiati and Echevez here. Echevez with the backhand. Abiati there to collect. No, called off by Stenzel. Greguli getting there just in time. Okay, Crotto crossing over in front of uh, Abiati there and uh, getting a foul called against him. As you can see, Abiati had established himself on the lines and therefore had the right of way. Uh, Crotto just running over his line. Phillips is going to have a crack at this one. Probably going to have a run at it. Opens his shoulder. Big hit. It's good. Cracking goal there by Brandon Phillips for Canada. 4-3 now with 1 minute 56 on the clock. Very well set up there. Few perfectly on target. Straight across the goal now. Great polo here. Abiati, uh, Brandon Phillips tried to steal from Crotto. Crotto getting a hold of that ball. Another man with a, with a cannon for an arm. Ball bounces out of play. So less than a minute and a half to go. Canada still down by one goal. Echevez having a crack at play when he had no, had no right away to do so. So the penalty was against Argentina. The Canadians need to act quick. Get that ring 
That'll be Arty here. They'll be hoping for a draw at best with one minute left on the board. Another foul. <laughs> Brandon Phillips showing his displeasure there. He knows that time is crucial at this stage, less than a minute left in the game. If the game is tied, if both teams will go into a penalty shooter to decide who will the rip winner of the game. But right now, Argentina is still up by one. Proto in possession. Phillips with the backhand. Croto now approached to goal. Oh, can he get it in? Oh, it's good. That's the fifth goal there for Argentina. This is going to make it, with 30 seconds left to go, it's going to make it almost impossible for, uh, for, Arge for Canada to come back. So, if you look here, a very deftly done, sticks his stick under the horse's neck, sort of a reverse neck shot, if you like, and taps it through. Very nicely done by the sixth goaler. So, clearance there by uh, Echevez. And it's five seconds to go. That's it. That's it. It's all over. Five, three in favor of Argentina on day five. Congratulations to Argentina. Claiming two wins and one loss here. And they have secured their spot into the quarterfinals. While for Canadians, they might need to go through the penalty shootout to decide their ranking. 5-3 is